Hello friends, so great to hear from you. How's it going? I'm Snuggly and this is Marcella Moon, as Google reliably tells me it's pronounced. This is a game that I've heard lots of Nancy Drew fans enjoy. It's supposed to be like kind of a similar vibe, mystery, point and click, but on a more tight budget. But I'm quite excited for it. It's called Marcella Moon Secret on the Hill. We just get right into the game. There's no title screen, so this is what you pretty much immediately see when you boot up the game. I just heard like a little tone play, which indicated that I had a phone call and we're right into it. So let's see what the mystery of Marcella Moon is like. The mystery of, is this game good? I have high hopes for it, but I also had high hopes for Midnight in Salem and we all know how that went. But let's just jump right into it. Oscar, so great to hear from you. How's it going? Hey, Marcella, things could be better. Are you still in Europe? I may have a case for you. This is Oscar Martinez. Yes, what's wrong? I feel like I should differentiate their voices, but I'm going to end up embarrassing myself. I don't know what's going on in the background. It's a little unnerving. Maybe she's smoking weed and that's like the smoke. I need help finding one of my colleagues, Amelia Goldstone, or Marcella Moon is vaping. That's another alternative. She went to Ireland to research her upcoming book, but I haven't heard from her in almost a week and I'm getting worried. Oh no, was she there by herself? Yes, she's been staying at the Rowan Tree Inn for the past couple months. We've been talking on a regular basis about her work. That is until this past week. I haven't heard anything from her. I take it that's unusual. Amelia's fairly independent and admittedly, it's not unlike her to not answer the phone. But I think it's odd that she's not in contact with anyone since her book deadline is coming up. I can't say for sure what's going on, especially since I'm not there. But it'd be strange for her to just take off without saying a word. Have you contacted the police? Yes, and I also talked to the innkeeper at the Rowan Tree. They said she checked out at the inn a few days ago. They're keeping an eye out for her, but without any evidence of foul play, they said there's not much more they can do. As far as they're concerned, there isn't a case here at all. But do you think there was foul play? I don't know. I can't think of a reason why there would be, but I can't shake the feeling that something is wrong. I see. I know you're good at solving these kinds of cases, so I just thought that if you got your feet on the ground, you could find something that would let us know she's safe. Don't worry, I'll find out where she is. You can count on me to figure this out. I'll pack my bags and head there ASAP. Just give me a call if you have any more questions. Okay, Oscar, sounds good. Oh, that was, that was louder than I expected. Got an Irish jig going on. I didn't realize this game was set in Ireland. That's pretty cool. If you didn't know, I'm studying in the UK right now, if I haven't mentioned it enough times. So is this the Rowan Tree Inn? So there's this woman whose name I've already forgotten, Curse My Little Hamster Brain, who went missing in Ireland. But she was staying at the Rowan Tree Inn and she was friends with Oscar. It's gonna help me to to uh, like talk through these things. Also, I'm going to be more generous to this game than I might be for other ones. Cause like I say, I know it's a very tight budget. I think it might ev even have been made by only one person. So I'm not gonna judge it too harshly. Who is this little person? Hi, I have a room reserved for Marcella Moon. Erin O'Sullivan. Of course, here's your key. I won't embarrass myself by attempting an Irish accent. You'll be staying in room 102, the first door on the left when you enter the inn. Do you need help with her, your bags? Erin is like ready to run. She's in her athletic wear, her athleisure. <laughs> Do you get that from Aritzia, Erin? So stylish. The matching set. I'm fine, thank you. Make yourself at home. We don't get too many guests at the height of rainy season. And unfortunately, the rainy season is long. Yeah, my impression is like the rainy season in Ireland is the whole year. <laughs> what I'm saying is I'm guessing you won't have too much noise bothering you during your stay. I appreciate your hospitality. Oh, Amelia, that's her name. You have a beautiful inn here. How long have you owned it? The Rowan Tree Inn has been in my family for five generations. Well, I sh she should be more Irish. Has been in me family? No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Me parents are <laughs> before me and their parents before them. I need to stop being like, she needs to be more Irish. Shut up. <laughs> She's not Irish enough for me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I understand that Amelia Goldstone has been staying here for a few months. She's not passing the Irish check. Where's my local character, my local color? 
<laughs> As a tourist, this is not meeting my expectations. She has, and I'm grateful. Thanks to her staying so long, I've had enough money to start mending the fence out back. Honestly, props to the developer for not, like, leaning in too much to that stereotype. Like, I'm obviously inclined to be. When did she check out of the inn? Hmm, it must have been Thursday. Four days ago, so that would make today... Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday? Either Monday or Tuesday. Depending on her definition of four days ago. Can you think of any place she might have gone when she left the inn? So she's already checked out. I'm sorry to say I can't. Miss Goldstone was one of the quieter guests we've had around the inn. She seemed to be very focused on her work. She only came down to get her meals, mainly. Aside from that, I don't concern myself too much with the comings and goings of my guests. I make sure they have a nice place to stay and are well fed, and from there I tend to mind my own business. Do you know of anywhere she liked to go while she was here? I imagine the same places all of our visitors go. The beach, the museum, up the mountain, maybe to Finn's pub, of course. Gotta have some Irish drinking culture in our Irish game. Thanks, that's all for now. Okay, so Roan Tree Inn. Where can I go in here? Ooh, is this my room? Nice little moon bed. Crescent moon bed. Legend of Ireland by Amelia Goldstone. So maybe this is Amelia's room. The Fianna were a band of mythical Irish warriors. Their powerful leader was Finn McCool. He's a cool guy. <laughs> Finn fell in love with a beautiful woman named... Oh, my I Irish pronunciation is bad. Is that Siobhan? I wanted to marry her. However, an evil druid, brackets, sorcerer, close bracket, used his magical powers to turn Siobhan into a deer. <laughs> Finn and Siobhan... It might not be Siobhan, in which case I'm embarrassing myself. Learned that if they returned to Finn's homeland near Ben Bulbin <laughs> Mountain. Is that the secret of the hill? What is this game called? The mystery of the secret of the hill. Secret of the lost hill. The missing secret of the hill. Secret of the missing hill. The missing secret hill. It's gotta be one of those. I was wrong. It's not any of those. It's secret on the hill. Maybe this hill is uh, the Ben, ben Bulbin Mountain, but that's a mountain, not a hill. So the pair returned to the mountain where they got married and decided to have a child. Before the child was born, though, the evil druid brackets sorcerer came up the mountain and turned Siobhan into a deer once again Finn was brokenhearted as he desperately searched the countryside for his beloved Siobhan for seven years wow hope I'm not hunting for Amelia for that length of time one day as Finn was hunting on the mountain he encountered a young boy alone in the mountains the boy didn't well of course he's in the mountains he's hunting on the mountains sorry that's my like creative writing <laughs> brain coming in like constantly like ready to give like feedback constructive criticism <laughs> boy didn't know how to speak but finn took him back to the village and gave him food and shelter once the young boy learned how to speak he told finn that he was being raised by a deer up on the mountain that's when the boy finn realized that the boy was his son wait what oh it was before the child was born so the child was born to the deer that's when finn realized that the boy was his son he named the boy ois oisin oisin meaning young deer oisin would grow up to become one of the most important warriors of the Fianna. I'm so sorry for my pronunciation. It is, it is not my strong suit. Okay, so sh Amelia has been doing some like research into like Irish folklore and such. Don't know if there's anywhere else I can go in here. It's pretty beautiful out here. It definitely is rainy. Oh, now this is. Oh my god, my tea just squirted into the air. A lovely little Irish village. Oh, look at this man. Is this Finn's pub? Is he Finn, the pub man? There's glasses, it looks like a pub. Although the, the tablecloths are telling me Italian restaurant. They're giving Italian restaurant. Sir, hello? Oh, it is Finn. Finn McCool, cool Finn. Just like in just like in the story, in the legend. Sir, do you have a son who is a deer? Who was born to a deer? Is your wife a deer? How's it going there? Hi, are you Finn McCool? I see my reputation precedes me. A good one, I hope. Well, your reputation of having a wife who is a deer. That's your reputation. Of course, I was told I should speak with you. I'm looking for Amelia Goldstone. I think she came in here quite a bit. Okay, so Amelia, like, a bit of an alcoholic, maybe? <laughs> yeah, she was in here sometimes. Such a small town, you know, so not many entertainment options. But you can always come in here. Maybe get a bit of live music and some of the best jokes in town. Want to hear one? Boy, do I ever. Sure, Marcella isn't sure. Why would you never iron a four-leaf clover? You don't want to 
impress your luck. I see why they call him Finn McCool now. He sure is cool. <laughs> That's my weak chuckle. Good one. That was a fake laugh if I ever heard one. Finn is like reading me like a book. You're almost as serious as Amelia. She didn't have much time for my jokes either. She was always scribbling away in her little notebooks. Did Amelia talk to anyone when she was in here? You'll find a lot of friendly folk here. A new face in town will always attract some attention. She and Shersha would sometimes talk about the fairies. Shersha will talk about fairies to anyone who will listen. I know how to pronounce Shersha because of Shersha Ronan. <laughs> have you seen Amelia anywhere else around town? Yeah, I've been down at the beach a lot lately, working on my tan course. I've seen her there a lot, sitting and reading or walking back and forth along the shore. I think she's as fond of the sea as I am. Okay, so hit up the beach. She wasn't swimming by herself, was she? I heard the storms around here can be nasty. Nah, just working and walking. Winter weather's no good for swimming. It's always raining or about to rain. Look at Finn just grooving away behind the counter. What a cool dude. What a cool dude. And as you said, the storms have been fierce lately. Do you have any reason to believe Amelia could be in trouble? I can't imagine what kind of trouble she could have gotten into around here. It's a small town and peaceful folk at that. The biggest case the Garda has had around here lately is the case of Mrs. Dalhousie's missing goats. The drama. I don't think you have anything to worry yourself about, Lass. Okay, do we think the case of Mrs. Dalhousie's missing goats is connected to the case of Amelia going missing? I think there could be a connection there. It's no coincidence the goats disappeared at the same time. What have you got on the menu today? Can I order food? Hmm, let's see what the cook has prepared for us today. Madge, what's on the menu today? We've got take it or leave it. Fair enough, Madge. Guess I'll have the take it then. Don't mind, Madge. Poor thing is woken up on the wrong side of the bed every day for the last 30 years. Oh, did I not have anything? I wanted to have like a nice plate of Irish stew. Do you have any other jokes? Yeah, tell me a joke. Tell me a joke. Quickest way to double your money is to fold it in half and put it back in your pocket. <laughs> now that is a chuckle weekly type of joke. What do you think of the local fairy legends, namely the fairy legend about you, Finn McCool, and your dear wife and half-dear son? I'm not much of a believer, but my gran would tell you a different story, so maybe she was the one who's responsible for his name. What do you mean? When I was wee, she told me about the time the fairies came for her. She was just a babe. Her parents were outside when they heard a lot of noise, dogs and sheep raising a ruckus. So her mam and pop came running in from the fields. I don't know, pop, is that like something they'd say in Ireland? They found my gran laying on the ground by the front door, still swaddled in all her blankets. They say the fairies were trying to take gran away, but when they heard someone approaching, they ran off. That's quite a tale. Talk to you later. See ya, Finn McCool. See you around. Is there anything to look at in here? No. So I'm gathering like the biggest part of the gameplay is maybe talking to people. It's gonna be worrying up my voice a little. I feel bad that I can't do any interesting accents. There's Shersha. She's got little dragons. Can I buy a little dragon? Can I buy a little dragon from her? Collect them all. I want to collect them all. I want. I want the pink dragon. I want the blue dragon. I want the other blue dragon. I want a dragon. That can be my, like, Irish souvenir. I like these little weird fairy things, too. And the snowflakes. Anything this side? Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> Looks like there's a piece missing. A puzzle! So we, But we can't do it, because there's a piece missing. So this is, like, the museum. In this display, Grace O'Malley's Cutlass, Diary of Catherine Brown, Grace's Descendants, Spanish coins found aboard one of Grace's ships. Are we going to get to break the glass and use the sword later. Use the sword to kill the villain. I'd sure hope so. I can't wait to wield the sword. Marcella on top of the secret hill, <laughs> wielding a sword. Okay, so Grace O'Malley, fierce lady pirate, lost treasures of Ireland, metal detector craze, winter storms dredge up treasures lost at sea. They can't all be winners. So I'm getting the impression, oh, this is a tune and a half. I'm getting the impression that there's going to be like a secret treasure involved in this. Maybe that's the secret on the hill, the treasure. What's this? Hello? 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 Who's there? Hello, George McGee. My name is Marcella. What? Marcella? Umbrella? I like George. Sir, I need to 
come back later. I'm in the middle of my nap. I respect that, George. It's very rude of her to interrupt his nap. <laughs> he really said honk sh me 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 me. George, best character. Come on, I can just annoy him again. Hello. I'm gonna be annoying American tourist. Shersha O'Reilly. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Hello, and welcome to Sligo Gift Shoppy. Here you'll find all of your fairy souvenirs. Jewelry, dolls, fairy wings, you name it. Dragon? Dragon, maybe? Dragon for Marcella? What brings you to town? I'm investigating the disappearance of Amelia Goldstone. Do you sell her in the museum by any chance? Well, in that case, I'm Shersha O'Reilly, owner of this shop. I've heard about Miss Goldstone, and frankly, I'm quite concerned. That's a concerned look if I've ever seen one. Why is that? This area is well known throughout the world for its supernatural activity. Oh, she also thinks the fairies <laughs> took her, okay. It's been haunted by the good people for many centuries. Good people, you mean fairies? Yes, fairies are known to live in this area. She's just telling me this so she can sell me more souvenirs, isn't she? She wants to sell me fairy souvenirs. Up on Ben Bulbin Mountain, right outside of town, it's said to be one of the only places in the world where humans can see fairies with their bare eyes. Sometimes the fairies like to cause trouble for the townsfolk, and in some cases they've been known to kidnap humans who cross their paths. Are you saying you think Amelia was kidnapped by fairies? Can tell you, people don't believe me. But you should take what I'm saying seriously. If the good people have Amelia, that would be very bad for her. Why? In Ireland, fairies aren't some frilly, pretty children's plaything. Fairies can be dangerous. Human encounters with fairies have resulted in people going being kidnapped, going mad, or worse. Oh my god, this is a lot of things to ask her. Have you ever had an encounter with a fairy? Well, I have never seen one, if that's what you mean. But strange things have happened in this town. Things being moved around, people claiming they heard someone speaking when no one was around. I personally try to avoid any contact with the good people. You just never know what might happen if one of them takes a shine into you. Um, great idea to open a store just fully all about the good people, Shersha. Great idea if you want to avoid contact with them. Why would a fairy have taken Amelia? Good question. Lots of reasons. Angry fairies take away adults who disrespect animals or nature. Some fairies might just want to be entertained or need a human to help them with some task. Wash my dishes. <laughs> that would be me if I was a fairy. Nice fairies take children away to play. Did you ever feel like you lost time as a child? I'm not sure. Sometimes fairies will take a child away to play games. Sometimes the child doesn't remember any of it, but sometimes they come back having seen some other world. Of course, parents just think it's the child's imagination. By the time the child has grown up, they'll have shrugged it away. What a shame. Has Amelia come in here often? She's been in here quite a few times. She's very interested in stories about the fairies and other local legends. She's been one of my best customers. Is the guy in the back room the museum curator? Oh yes, it's George McGee. He's been charging the museum for 43 years. Poor guy, doesn't want to retire. He's getting a bit forgetful though, so I tend to help him out seeing as my store is connected to the museum. Cher, she did it. Cher, she did it. George knows something and she's gonna be like, oh yeah, it's just his dementia. He doesn't know shit. <laughs> don't, don't trust anything he says. I wasn't able to talk to him. Do you know much about the museum exhibit in there? The items in there are on loan from the National Museum of Ireland. We get some good stuff to our little museum due to George being well known in the museum world. I want to live in the museum world. F this world. F the earth. Bring me to the museum world, fairies. We rotate the items out every few months and then we have to send them back. I help with putting up the displays and making the signs. You should check out the exhibit that's in there now before we have to send it back. It's about lost treasure. Pretty interesting stuff. What do you think of the innkeeper, Erin O'Sullivan? She's pretty nice. She's a very talented gardener. She comes in every day to set up the flower display in the gift shop. She hates her. Shersha hates her. She's pretty nice. She's a talented gardener. Hates her. Their enemies, nemeses. I should get going. Stop by any time. Gee, thanks. Okay, so that was the museum. That's the pub. You can walk for. Oh, what's this? That looks. I don't know if I want to go there. That looks. That looks scary. Ooh. There's a keyhole. Nice little fountain. What does this say? When I last, where I last laid anchor, said goodbye to the sea and ascended the hill, the hip, the, the secret on the hill to the rowan tree. Wait, is so is the hill maybe near, maybe near the inn on the rowan tree? 
in. Oh my god, y'all, I'm putting, I'm putting the clues together. I'm a detective over here. In hand my compass and worthy saber, there I lay to rest the fruit of my labor, where no mortal force would dare to seek, for the wind did howl, and the stones did speak. Hmm, what's this blue building? Ranger Shanahan. So this is like police station or national parks, maybe. Visit Ben Bulbin. There it is. Splendid view. The whole trip takes five hours. Jeez. You're just about there. It's all about Ben Bulbin. <laughs> they really want you to visit Ben Bulbin. Every pamphlet is Ben Bulbin. <laughs> there, there's no nothing else to see. Just Ben Bulbin. Hi, I'm Marcella Moon. I'm looking for- am I looking for Ranger Shanahan? I don't even know his name. I'm just wandering around. I'm just exploring, checking things out. That would be me. How can I help you? I'm looking for Amelia Goldstone. I was hoping you could help. Have you seen her lately? No, not recently. I believe she checked out of the Rowan Tree Inn a while back. Yes, but no one has heard from her. Her family is worried, and no one around here seems to be too concerned. Sorry to hear you're worried about her friend. Have you tried her cell phone? He also doesn't seem very concerned. Yes, no answer. That's a head scratcher. <laughs> My friend might be dead and he's like, that's a head scratcher. Do the folks down at the Garda station know you're looking for her? I guess that's where I should head next. Yes, I've talked to the police. They think there's nothing to worry about. I haven't talked to the police. Oh well, then I would try not to worry too much either. The folks down at the station do a great job. Ooh. Are you involved with missing persons investigations? <laughs> what does this look like, the NYPD? We don't get a lot of crime around here. Sure, someone will get lost in the mountain every once in a while and have to go up with the other volunteer mountain rescue crew to find them, but that's about it. That said, if anything was going on on park lands as a lead ranger, I'd be the first to know. Could Amelia have gone up the mountain by herself? I hope not. I don't advise people to go up the mountain without a guide. It can be very unforgiving terrain if you don't know where you're going. There are lots of holes, and it's very slippery right now because of the rain. Amelia doesn't seem like much of an outdoors woman. Hopefully she wouldn't be foolish enough to go up there on her own. I've been told Amelia likes to go to Strida Beach. Have you ever seen her there or anywhere else in the parklands? I've seen her around the beach, but it has been some time. I'll keep my eyes peeled. I'm curious about Ben Bulbin Mountain. What can you tell me? Feel free to take one of our spiffy new park flyers in the corner. Ben Bulbin Mountain is one of our most popular attractions in Sligo County, the only attraction. We offer one tour per day, so come check it out if you have time. Am I going to go on the five-hour tour then? What do you think of the supernatural stories about Ben Bulbin Mountain? Do we think that Finn McCool of the pub will be revealed to be the real Finn McCool of myth with the dear wife? That could be a twist. <laughs> All nonsense. Do you talk about fairies on your tours? It's a topic many visitors are interested in, so I do talk about it. I myself prefer to just enjoy the nature, the fresh air, the green plants, the changing shadows on the landscape when the sun peeks out for a few seconds. Thanks, I'll let you know if I have any other questions. Bye. Where's the Garda station? Okay, wait, wait. I'm getting, I'm getting a bit used to the, um... Oh, what? Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, I, is this the beach? Okay, well, I'm at the beach. I might as well embrace being on the beach. The navigation's a bit interesting. I think it's like a bit like Stay Tuned for Danger, where you're not exactly following like a straight path. What's this little building? <gasps> it's, it's locked. What in the Nancy Drew? Is that the hill? Is that the secret hill? The hill with the secret on it? Maybe not. Okay, so nothing much happened on the beach. Oh, <gasps> wait, I can go up the hill. That looks steep. I'm not sure about that. Oh, that's, oh, that's Ben Bulbin Mountain. Sorry, it's not just a little hill. It's the mountain. It's the for real mountain. I can't go up it. To be fair, it does, like I say, it does look very steep. So I can just see it from this angle. So I'm going to have to look out for a few keys because there is the statue or the fountain that had a keyhole in it. And there's that. And then I also need to be looking out for the puzzle piece for the thing in the museum. I haven't found any items yet, though. Okay. Am I one in here, right? This is, yeah, this is the ranger station. What? What's happening? Is it, is it, is it time for bed? Bedtime? 
I'm very short. What's this? What's happening? Is this... It's like one of the little matchy... Guess... The pattern? Games? Okay. Oh, this is where Amelia was staying. Why did I have something of Amelia's in my room then? What's happening? That's a clue under the bed. Jan 22nd. Staying at the Rowan Tree Inn has been wonderful. It's... <laughs> I'm sorry, the music is so distracting. It's like just the harpsichord going ham in the background. It's nice to get out into the countryside and get some fresh air. I've met a lot of interesting locals. Finn McCool down at the pub is quite the character. He was very flirty, <gasps> not being very loyal to his dear wife. Although that might be how he is with everyone. And when I say dear, I don't mean D-E-A-R, D-E-E-R, dear. Like, okay. <laughs> you know Rentaro when he goes, dear? Like that. Feb 3rd, my least the harpsichord man is walking away from me. Feb 3rd, my research is progressing nicely. Oh, he's back. <laughs> I probably need about another month before I'll have enough material to finish my book. The weather has been terrible lately. Instead of being holed up in my room all day, though, I've been taking long walks at Strida Beach. It's a small beach in walking distance from the inn. There aren't many people at the beach this time of year, so it's very peaceful. March 11th, while I was walking along the beach today, I found something strange, an old anchor that looks like it might have some historical significance. It was too heavy to bring back with me, so I dragged it onto the shore and left it next to the ca cave. The cave at the end of the beach? I want to go there. I plan to let the local authorities know about it first thing tomorrow. Okay, so maybe... Whoa, an anchor? Sounds like someone's coming in here. Oh my god, do I have to hide? Hide, 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 hide. Who is it? Is it Finn McCool? Did he abduct abduct her because he's like a fairy? There's nothing here, Finn. Oh, it's Aaron and Finn. <sighs> All right, meet me there in 15 minutes. We're on the phone. Finn. What happened? Oh, should I go into there? Okay, I was going to say, my current theory is that Finn is a for real fairy and he abduct abducted her. <laughs> Just this little folly and little jape. Because he, he, we know he loves japes and jokes and jests. Sounds like a fairy to me. He's a lover of mischief. Just prank. Kidnapped her as a prank. Or she discovered this hidden treasure of the pirate. And someone wants the treasure for themselves. And they don't want anyone else to know about it. Those are my theories. Oh, am I sneaking in? Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, I'm in the vents. Where did you put it? This is Shersha and Finn. Was Shersha in the inn or was it Aaron? Put what? The sword. Oh, the sword's gone missing. I know you took it in the museum. I'm going to be in big trouble if I don't find it. Oh my god, Mar Marcella's going to get skewered like a kebab. Someone's going to stab me with a sword. They're going to cut off my arm. I didn't take any sword. Don't lie to me. I know all about you digging holes around town looking for treasure. I knew it. The treasure. It's real. It's the secret on the hill. Don't bring that up again. I've already apologized about that. I'm sorry for digging holes looking for treasure. I'm really sorry. I better have it back soon. <sighs> Shares to wait. Mm. What's this? What's happening? I'm some I'm somewhere secret. I'm in some secret location. Wait, no, I'm back at the inn. What's happening? What's going on? What's this? Is that my phone? This is going this is moving so fast. Oh, it's Oscar. Hey Marcella, what can I help you with? I'm beginning to think there's something more here than meets the eye. Fairies, maybe? I just got off the phone with the Garda. That's the local police. What? I let them know that I found Amelia's diary in the room where she was staying at the inn. It sounds like she might have found something important around a week ago when she disappeared. Wow, I knew something was up. This also sounds like someone broke into the local museum last night. And you think it's related? Could be. I need to do more digging. I'm surprised they don't, like, 
suspect Mar- Marcella. Like, she arrives to town and suddenly the sword goes missing. I, d- I wouldn't think that was just a coincidence. Digging, digging for treasure. Digging for hidden hidden treasure on the hill. <laughs> on the secret hill. At least now, though, the police are taking this investigation more seriously. They said they'll start looking for Amelia, too. I've told them everything I know so far. Do you have any suspects? Yes, I need to learn more about... Finn McCool, the fairy. All right, well, you better keep looking. I will. Oh, so that was me naming my number one suspect. I wonder if that'll have any bearing on the story. Do you think Amelia believed in the folk story she was writing about? Like fairies or pirates' treasure or giants? I think she felt they were important stories. Irish land has such a rich history that spans back thousands of years. Vikings, pirates, Irish clans, and all kinds of people lived on the land. The stories show us what people valued, what they feared, and how they explained away things they had no explanation for. Well put, Oscar. They also show us how people have changed over time. No, I don't think she believed all of the stories, but I think she wanted to get them on paper before no one believed in them anymore. Wow. That's sad. What was Amelia doing in Sligo? Well, if you aren't familiar with Amelia's work, she's an Irish history expert who writes about the folk tales of Ireland. That would have been helpful to know going into this Oscar, thanks. She's been in Sligo for four months while she researches her upcoming book about local myths and legends. From what I understand, she was trying to talk to locals and look through the local history archives to get information for her book. What else can you tell me about Amelia? She was born in the U.S. but moved to Ireland 20 years ago to start researching Irish mythology. I thought she was just here on a trip. Oscar was holding so much back. She loved it so much that she stayed. Ever since, she's been traveling around in different parts of the country to record the local stories. She's written a few books on the topic. She's truly dedicated to documenting everything there is to know about Ireland. She sounds pretty McCool. Why is Amelia so interested in the folk tales of Ireland? I think she feels like these are stories that need to be preserved. Sligo, Sligo, Sligo in particular, that's where you are now. <laughs> like, like Marcella doesn't know where she is. Oscar, I feel, I feel a little belittled right now. I don't know how much faith you have in me. It's an area that is steeped in mythology from stories of the ancient Celts, 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 roaming the Balbin Mountain to more recent stories about fairies calling the area home. It's a very significant area of Ireland. If you ask around long enough, you'll find stories of fairies, giants, pirates, and other wild things. But belief in some of these stories is fading fast in our modern times. I think she saw magic in the stories that she wanted to share with others. Did she have a TikTok? Was she sharing <laughs> the good word of Irish folklore on TikTok? Because she should be. That's how, that's how you connect to the kids these days. Was Amelia on bad terms with anyone here in Sligo? Not that I know of. If so, she didn't mention it. I better get going. Gotta find the secret on the hill, Oscar. Just give me a call if you have any more questions. Okay, can I call Oscar anytime? Oh, I can look at, I can just look at my, my desk now. That's her Legends manuscript. Oh, here's a picture of her. Amelia Goldstone has been traveling around Ireland for the past 20 years, documenting folk stories and Irish lore. Her book, Legend of Ireland, was praised for bringing back to life the myths and magical tales that have been a part of Irish culture for hundreds of years. So she's like an Irish weeaboo then. Amelia has won several prizes for her non-fiction work, and she also has a large fan base for her stories. Her series of historical fiction novels, I bet it's erotica, I bet it's historical fiction erotica, about sexy Irish guys named, like, Patrick. <laughs> sexy Patrick. Her upcoming, I bet that's her first novel. That's the name of the first in her series of historical fiction erotica novels, Sexy Patrick. Her upcoming book, Stories of Western Ireland, will talk about the many groups of inhabitants Western Ireland over the course of its history and sh- the many groups of inhabitants Western, hmm, and share the stories that have been passed from generation to generation. It'll be available on May 30th. Okay, and there's a little picture of her. Wouldn't it be like a total twist if this picture had been someone we'd already met? And I could be like, oh my god. She was here all along. She was here all along. Oh. Am I calling Oscar? I don't really want to call Oscar. I just want to see. You got, you no, know, you got games on your phone? Bye. Bye, Oscar. I just wanted to hear the sound of your voice, you know. I think I'm in love with you, Oscar. 
how did I get the close up? Oh, okay, so I've been, have I been able to do that the whole time? <laughs> oh, I just didn't realize. Okay, nice little candlelight. How's, oh, how's a good gal today? Not, not very, feeling very talkative, I guess. Okay, where do, is this the hill? Can I go up this hill? The Rowan Tree Hill? I wanted to go that path to nowhere, the scary path to nowhere. Ooh. Fairy folk is playing a merry tune by the sounds of it. I should talk to her about the um the theft. Oh, <gasps> look at that. It's gone. I should talk to George, my favorite character. Hello. George, speak to me, George. I think someone's murdered George. He's not responding. I think he's dead. I think Shershus murdered him. What happened last night? It's awful. Someone broke into the museum and took Grace O'Malley's sword. Whoever did it didn't even break the glass. They must have had a key. Man, I'm going to be in so much trouble. It was a fairy. A fairy spirited away with their magic fairy powers. And I bet that fairy was Finn. Yeah. Who else besides you and George had a key to this building? Mm, just us. But George sometimes forgets to lock, off, lock up. If he wandered up, off last night and left the doors unlocked, anyone could have waltzed right in here. I see. I know it must look bad. You probably don't believe me, but I did not take this sword. You know, the thought was crossing my mind. I'm not gonna lie. Right as she said that, the thought was just strolling across my mind. <laughs> Who do you think it was then? I think it was Finn McCool. Not, not very McCool of him. He's already been caught snooping around town, digging in people's yards, looking for buried treasure. What? Just last year, Finn was caught digging near one of the trees at the Rowan Tree Inn. Aaron was furious. I don't think she turned him in, but he had to agree not to come back to the inn ever again. She still stares daggers at him whenever they cross paths. She's one of the only people who doesn't turn up at Finn's pub. She doesn't turn up at Finn's pub, you know what I mean? <laughs> turn up for what? Wow, small town drama. Finn's got no respect for things you shouldn't go disturbing. Rowan trees are known to be fairy territory. What's next? Digging up a fairy circle itself? I mean, she said she didn't believe in fairies, but this sounds like she believes in fairies. She's like, don't go near things that, that fairies don't want you to go near. Like, I don't know. You disturb the wrong area and you'll be sorry. Fairies do not take kindly to people messing with their homes. Uh, this is terrible. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble, and so is George. I feel bad for him. He loves his museum. Was that one of the items on sale or on sale on loan from the National Museum? Because yeah, that would be bad. Gotta get going. Sounds like a you problem, Shersha. Good luck with your little issue of the stolen sword. I guess I should talk to Finn. How's it going there? Finn, I need you to be honest with me. Did you break into the museum last night? Be honest. I most certainly did not. Who told you that? I love that it looks like he's jamming to the music. It's good. Shersha. Oh my god, she's just gonna rat her out. Oh, okay. I thought she'd be like, mm, just heard it in the old rumor mill. But no, she's she's just full on tattling on Shersha. She's snitching on Sh Shersha. Oh, Shersha, Shersha. She's a bit doolally, if you ask me. She's not playing with the full deck, if you know what I mean. I know about you digging around in people's backyards. That's pretty incriminating. I don't think I don't think that kind of equals stealing a sword. They're not really on the same level. Like digging holes and stealing a sword from a museum. Not really equal. <laughs> All right, yes. There are things to be found buried around here. There are rumors about Grace O'Malley herself hiding treasure somewhere in this town. You must have seen the riddle. It's right in our town square. I, d I did see it, but I, I didn't read into it too much. I should have read into it more. Try to solve the riddle. When you grow up with a riddle taunting you every time you come into town as a wee lad, you've got to be at least a little curious. So yes, I've taken a crack at finding some treasure, but it's all in good fun. You've got to entertain yourself somehow, living in Sligo for 33 years. Marcella, I wouldn't go around listening to gossip in this town. You're likely to find yourself on a wild goose chase. I haven't a clue who broke into the museum, but it wasn't me. Have you ever found anything while treasure hunting? Not really. I found a wristwatch one time, but mostly I found lots and lots of dirt. You know what? I don't believe him. I don't believe him. If he hadn't really found anything, why would he keep looking? Why would he keep looking, huh? 
But others have found things. Tommy Fitzgibbons was working in his backyard when he dug up a wee box with a gold bracelet in it. The man got a handsome reward for finding it. Apparently it was a relic, and he wasn't even looking. I figure if I'm actually looking, one day I'll get lucky too. Okay, you keep looking, Finn. You keep looking. What do you make of the Grace O'Malley riddle? Can't make sense of it, really? Somewhere on a spooky hill? Near a rowan tree? By the sea? That could be anywhere around here. So part of the secret on the hill is... The secret is... What hill? That's part of the secret on the hill. Is the secret of what hill? We're looking for the secret on the hill on. You know? <laughs> Back to you later. I can't ask him for another joke. I'm so disappointed. I wanted to hear his jokes. I like them. Well, I liked the first one, not so much the second one. Let's read this again. Where I last laid anchor, so where near where Amelia found the anchor, which was on the beach. Say goodbye to the sea, ascended the hills to the rowan tree. Okay. So you probably need the compass and the sword to find the treasure. That's why someone stole it. The stones did speak, so we're looking for like standing stones or something, mysterious standing stones. How do I get out of town? Here we go. Let's take the path unknown into the wilderness, into the unknown. Oh, this is just the beach. Okay, so I've been everywhere. I need more items. Can I take, can I take your man's tour today? And go up Ben Balbin Mountain? Let's try talking to him. Oh, we've got a lot to talk to him about. Did Amelia mention to you that she found something at the beach? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Good talk. Have you ever found someone digging on park lands? No, but if I did, that would be vandalism. I wouldn't take kindly to that. Part of my job is to patrol and make sure people aren't misbehaving on park lands. I bet I'm gonna misbehave on park lands. I bet I'm gonna get a shovel and start digging on park lands, just like Finn the Cool. Do you think there's treasure buried somewhere in Ben Bulbin Mountain? Maybe. Eh, probably. There's been too many stories about it for there not to be, but it's a big mountain and rugged. You could look and look, but without knowing where exactly to dig, you'd probably just end up with nothing to show for it. What do you think of Finn McCool? Do you think he's pretty McCool? He's always wanted to leave town. Some people like the small town mentality, but Finn's different. He loves to meet new people and have new experiences. He would do almost anything to get out of here. Like, murder. <laughs> well, okay, my new conspiracy. Um, uh, Finn murdered Amelia, and he's making a suit out of her skin so he can assume her identity and leave town. That's my <laughs> new theory. What do you think of George McGee? Or what if George... <laughs> okay, new theory. What if George is Amelia and she's putting on a voice and they're hiding her for some reason. Can't think of a bad thing to say about George. He's been a pillar of our community for 76 years. I remember when he used to play fiddle on Saturdays down at the fountain in the town center. People would sing and dance. What do you think of Shersha O'Reilly? Oh, while she acts all mysterious and mystical, she really puts on an impressive show for the tourists with all that fairy stuff. But I grew up with her, and I see her for who she is, a shrewd businesswoman. This guy's pretty suspicious. He knows a lot. He's pretty shrewd himself. What do you think of Erin O'Sullivan? She sure runs a tight ship down at the inn. Okay, talk to you later. He didn't have much to say about Erin, though. Suspicious. Can I take one of these for a puzzle? Can I solve a puzzle with one of these dragons? Okay, now I'm a bit at a loss, I'm not gonna lie. Still a piece missing. Where do I find it? Where do I find the missing piece? Where do I find the key? What have I missed? I must have missed something. I heard that Finn dug a hole in your backyard. Been gossiping, I see. Finn thinks he's going to find Grace O'Malley's treasure. Thing is, he hasn't got a clue where to look. I think the boy's not too bright. If it was raining soup, he'd go out with a fork. I like that. Talk to you later. Hmm. Maybe I'll call Oscar. Oh! <gasps> Someone's planted the sword in my room. How did this get here? We've been watching you. Find us the treasure and we'll send her home. Oh my god, I've got a message from the fairies. From the good people. Give me that sword. What's happening? Something in the handle. Oh, the compass that I need to find the treasure. Looks like some sort of compass. 
Okay, I have it. Can I take the sword, though? I really want to take the sword. Should I, should I be turning this over to Cherisha? Like, it's not- I don't think it's a very good threat to give me a sword that I could use to kill a fairy with, you know? I found a threatening note in my room. Have you seen anyone unusual come through the inn? Or maybe it's her. She'd have easy access to my room. Oh dear, are you alright, Lass? I haven't seen anyone. Hmm. Sure, Aaron. Sure. <laughs> I think I've suspected literally everyone at this point. Wait, what's this? Can I borrow this gem? What the heck? I didn't even notice that. I promise I'll bring it back. Sure. Are you crazy? That's my lucky emerald. If I give it away, this whole place could come crashing down at any second. It's really important. Is there any way you can manage without it for a little while? I bet that's what I need for the puzzle museum. Oh, I don't know. I'll tell you what. If you can help me with these jokes I'm writing, I'll let you borrow it for today. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. I'm really good at writing jokes, Finn. I'm really good. I'm really funny. I'm just really funny. If you don't bring it back, you'll be in big trouble, Missy. Thank you. What do you need me to do? If you can help finish the punchlines of these jokes I wrote, that would be a big help. What is hands but can't clap? Oh, it's a clock. So these are kind of riddles. They're not jokes. And I don't get to make them myself. I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What I am I? Clan. Clan. <laughs> I'll come back to that. What kind of band never plays music a rubber rubber band what building has the most stories a library a library <laughs> kind of rock is light as a feather a sham rock i'm so good at this millie train me well nice 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 thank you marcella 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 i think it's marcella tall when i'm young and i'm short when i'm old when am i now this mm, it's a candle check i think i solved all your riddles yeah try riddle riddle me this riddle me that i can solve all your riddles hmm that you did okay you can borrow my most prized possession but you better take good care of it okay now i have finn mccool's most prized possession in my possession it's my most prized possession now i've got all the pieces I didn't tell him I was borrowing it for like a little puzzle that looks like a, something a toddler would use to keep them entertained while they're waiting for their parents to be down in the dentist's office. Okay, it looks like I need to arrange the gems so there's only one of each color and shape per column and row. Okay, it's classic like solitaire. How do I pick them up? Oh, I pick and drag. Oh, oh, the physics are a bit weird. Is that a diamond? Is that the same shape as that? Oh, oh no, that's not, that's not where I wanted it to go. Oh no, it can't be there. Uh, uh, ah, where are you going? Where are you going? Stay there, stay there. Okay, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll start with all the blue ones, because there's already two, there's already two blue on the board. Okay. That pretty much has to go there, right? No, why did the green star come with me? I feel good about these blue ones. I feel confident about that. Okay, maybe I'll do the all the stars or hearts next. Or diamonds. Get out of my way. <laughs> it's like this surface has been greased up or something. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, this is annoying. <laughs> I want the, the red heart to go in the top corner. <laughs> oh, no. Mm, this is finicky. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing curling or something. Okay, we need a yellow, yellow star there. Oh my god. So then the green, uh, green star here, which means yellow heart there. Okay, and now I have, let me move that. Got difficulty. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Ah. Oh no, it's stuck. No, it's stuck. It won't move. <laughs> disaster, disaster. I've got all the pieces, yeah. Oh no! Oh no! I thought it might reset. Can I, can I? Okay, I got it unstuck. Oh, my life flashed before my eyes. I was like, am I gonna have to replay the whole game? <laughs> Just cause this one little jewel has got stuck. <gasps> Aki! But is it for the fountain or the little cave? Or not cave. The little trapdoor. Should I read more about this? Female pirates. She lived to the age of 73. She was pretty cool. Lost treasures. Coin hordes. People use lots of metal detectors to find, try to find coin hordes. Winter seas dredge up, dredge up treasures. Sometimes treasure washes up on the Sligo coast, but more often than that, locals find junk. Here are some of our unspectacular finds. William Finnegan's left shoe, a can of spoiled beets, a creepy doll, a broken washing machine. I bet all their troubles started when that creepy doll came into town. Looks like this key might work. Oh, sweet. Sweet. What's this? What is that? Map. Oh, well, that's not a very useful map. <laughs> that just shows me Ben Bulbin Mountain. Can I use the compass with it? Shall I give back Finn his key? Or his jewel, rather? How's it going? Oh, I can't give it back to him. I'm, I'm keeping it, I guess. It's mine now. Finders keepers. Looks like you're a sucker, Finn. More fool you. Compass. Yeah. Am I supposed to- this is like a grid. I feel like this grid is important. I feel like I need to know more. How do I use the compass? Hmm. Oh! Hmm. I must be able to find directions somewhere. Wait, can I use this key again, maybe? No. At least not there. Hmm. Let me go talk to some of our friends in town. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I wonder if the fairies have left me another gift. No, but the sword's gone. Let's call Oscar. Oscar, weird fucking things have been happening, man. Oh. Okay, never mind. I do have questions, Oscar. What do I do? That's my question. Okay, let me go look at the riddle again. The secret riddle. The secret riddle on the hill. Secret riddle to the hill? Hmm. What am I missing? It's interesting that I can use the compass here. Or can I just use it at any time? No, it seems to only be on the mountain. Compass point at this square on mountain, on hill. So that is where I go. No? Okay. I guess that was too easy. What am I missing? Hmm. Can I use items on people? Oh, I- Oh, so I can use the compass in other areas. How does this work? It's always pointing up. It's always saying I'm facing north. That's confusing. How can I go on his little nature walk? Is it not time for me to go to bed yet? Can I just go go to bed and this can be tomorrow Marcella's problem? Oh, what? I could read these books. They're about the good people. Okay, the fairy door. On Ben Balbin Mountain, there is supposedly a fairy door that represents a bridge between the human world and the fairy world. It's the only place in the world where fairies are visible to humans. This has created the setting for many mysterious tales. And some people are still afraid to set foot on Ben Balbin Mountain to this day. Fairy gifts. In some cases, fairies have been known to help those who seek them out. I mean, they didn't- they gave me a gift, but I don't think it was to help me out. I think it was a threat. Strange tales of fairy kidnappings. What do fairy circles look like? 
a ring made from natural materials like stones or mushrooms. Fairies love nature and air animals, so be sure to take care for the natural environment. Always pick up your trash, recycle, and tend the plants and animals around you. I do all those things. Why did the fairies still threaten me? Very rude of them. Okay, have I now triggered something which will help me progress the game? That would sure be nice, wouldn't it? Well, maybe if I go back to the mountain now, I'll be able to find this fairy door that I didn't know existed before. Fairy door, go, go enter the fairy door. What? 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 What is this? How did I get here? What am I supposed to do? What? Oh, I have, I have rope now. Jewel. This must be her anchor. Can I use rope on anchor? Use compass on anchor? Use jewel on anchor? Use key on anchor? 2C. 2C. If I label this grid with numbers, like 1, 2, A, B, C, it's the same one the compass was pointing to. The same point, this square. 2C. I feel like I'm, I'm thinking really outside the box here. Okay, I didn't even know I could go to this place, so that's cool. I found something new. I don't know if I've progressed in the game, though. Can I use my rope to climb Ben Bulbin Mountain? Right there. Go right up there. <laughs> where the, tr the treasure is. Where the secret on the hill is. Okay. Can I talk to people now? About finding the anchor in the rope? George is sulking after the sword got stolen from the museum. That, this location seems significant. I'd better check it out. Okay. How? I think the starting point mentioned on the map is this way. What'll I do if I find something I can't dig with my hands? Well, of course you can, Marcella. That's not a very can-do attitude. Where am I supposed to find something to dig with? Well, <laughs> I guess that was a gift from the fairies. They heard my plea. Okay, so I have a shovel now. Is that the shovel? It looks like a snow shovel. <laughs> Gonna be sno shoveling lots of snow up on the mountain, I guess. Okay. It's getting dark, so I'm not going out there with a headlamp. Where the heck are you gonna get a headlamp, babe? Maybe from the ranger. You can arrange something for me. Oh, he's not here. Sligo County Park Service Permit. Park Service Wilderness Use Permit. His name is also Finn. He's the one with the dear wife. That's suspicious that they're both called Finn. Valid for daytime use only. Oh, and a key? I don't know what the significance of the permit is, though. Finn Shanahan, because that's the ranger. It's, maybe he's not a ranger. Maybe he's just pretending to be a ranger. I'm, I don't know, I'm confused. Oh, no, I don't wanna see the anchor. I wanna go to the hut and open this. <gasps> Finally in entering the trap door. <gasps> it's Amelia. What are you doing down here, babe? Are you Amelia Goldstone? Yes, who are you? Oh my God, Amelia Goldstone. And she's looking for gold. She's looking for gold treasure. <laughs> That's funny. I'm Marcella Moon. Oscar sent me to look for you. Are you all right? Yes, I'm okay, but thank goodness you found me. Things were beginning to look bad. How did you end up here? I found an anchor on the beach a few days ago, and I thought I should turn it in. It was etched with lots of symbols and looked like it might be of historical value. Oh no, it was too heavy, so I went to the ranger station to see if he could help me bring it back to town. I knew it. I knew it. He was too shrewd. He was too shrewd. Instead, he locked me down here. He believes it's the anchor mentioned in Grace O'Malley's riddle, and he thinks I can solve the rest of the riddle. That may or may not be the case, but there's no way I'm going to help him. If the treasure exists, it belongs to this country, not to a kidnapping treasure thief. So I guess the ranger is the one who's been blackmailing me. Blackmailing me? Oh, right, with the little note from the fairies. He told me to find the treasure and he wasn't gonna let you go. I actually have an idea of where it might be. I was about to go look for it, in fact. <laughs> Wanna join? <laughs> really? Well then, you need to find it. We can't let him get to it. He plans to smuggle it across the border and sell it, and we can't let that happen. But I'm here to make sure you're safe now that I've found you. I'll be fine. I'm going to lay low for a while, but I'm not leaving Sligo until we figure this out. Please, this is important to me. She's just gonna chill here? Alright. 
Here, take this. It might help you search. Come find me at the pub when you get back. Oh, lying low is just her going to the pub. <laughs> okay, Amelia. Is she gonna give me a headlamp? Yes, let's get you out of here. Okay, Amelia's freed. I guess I've got to go find that treasure. I guess. Oh, go find the treasure. Go find the treasure. How do you find treasure? I think the starting point mentioned on the map is this way. Oh, okay, I couldn't click on it before. Oh, gosh, it is getting dark up here. Use my headlamp. It's dark and stormy night, all right. Oh, which way? Which way? My instinct is telling me left. That could be the tree. That could be the rowan tree mentioned in the riddle. What's this? Oh, I, I found it. It was actually really easy, guys. You just had to go look for the patch of dirt that was a different shade than all the other grass. I don't know why all the rest of you had such trouble finding it. I found the treasure. Uh-oh. He's gonna come and bash me on the head or strike me with the sword. What if I get him first with the shovel? Who's that? Ranger Shanahan. So you're the one behind all this. I mean, we already knew this, because uh, Amelia told us. Guilty as charged. I've been looking for the treasure. Being the park ranger makes it almost too easy to cover my tracks. No one thinks twice if they see me wandering off to do park maintenance. But this is a big mountain. You can only dig so many holes before you start to get tar carpal tunnel. Oh, he's so relatable. Such a relatable treasure hunter and kidnapper. In all my nights of hard work, I never found anything. I was about to believe the treasure didn't exist. That is, until your friend found that anchor. I'm lucky she came to talk to me about it instead of the police. Another perk of being a park ranger, I suppose, is that I'm to be notified of anything unusual found on park lands. But why did you have to kidnap Amelia? She had nothing to do with this. Unfortunate, really. I'm not much of a thinking man, but your friend has quite a lot of knowledge about this area. I figured if anyone could help solve that riddle, she could. And then I could stop digging and we'd both be wealthy. Oh, he was willing to share the wealth. Well, he's not really such a bad guy, then. I didn't want to hurt her, honest. She could have just helped me find the treasure and we wouldn't be in this mess. I offered to split it with her, even, but she wouldn't tell me anything about that clue she found. I mean, that does feel in character for Amelia. She's passionate about, like, Ireland as a country and Irish history and all that. We had the sword and the anchor. We were so close. And instead of helping, she threatened to go to the police instead and tell them what we'd been doing. Did you put the sword in my room? That was my business associate. What? His business associate? Been calling in some favors at the end. A great criminal mastermind can't work alone. It all paid off because now Aaron and I will both be rich. Oh my god, Aaron was in on it. I knew it. I said she'd have easy access to the room. This music is very triumphant. You're not getting a hold of this treasure. Sorry, but you're wrong. The time to play Mr. Nice Guy is over. You found what I've been looking for and now I can't let you or Amelia or anyone else stand in my way. Oh, shovel. Shovel. Hit shovel. Ah! <laughs> Bash, bash him again. Hit him again. Oh, tie him up, probably. You're not going anywhere. I wish I could just shovel murder him. We could pretend. I could easily bury him in this hole I just made by digging up the treasure. I was able to keep Ranger Shanahan from getting away long enough for the police to arrive. He and his accomplice, Aaron, will be getting what they deserve by spending a long time behind bars. Gracie's treasure was returned to the National Museum of Ireland and her sword and compass were returned to the Sligo History Museum. Amelia was able to finish her book in time, and then she decided to take some time off. After everything she's been through, she'll probably be off to somewhere sunny and warm for a while. Finn started a local open mic night, giving himself a platform to try out his jokes. Great, now he's a stand-up comic. If he gets good enough, <laughs> doubtful. <laughs> Especially because he thinks a riddle and a joke are the same thing. Maybe his comedy career will take him all the way to Dublin. Maybe it'll take him to the next town over, but I don't know if it'll take him to Dublin. The discovery of treasure in Sligo brought many more tourists into town, and Cherisha decided to start her own fairy tours. She made me promise to come visit again so that I can go on a tour. Thanks for playing! We hope you enjoyed this game. You know, I did enjoy this game. It was a nice, like, short, condensed experience. I did have a little, like, trouble at the end with, like, finding everything I needed. 
but like other than that it was like pretty smooth sailing i think they did a good job of kind of casting equal suspicion on all their suspects especially in such a short game and kind of threading a few different ideas and concepts and some like irish history and folklore in there i know some people would probably have an issue with the graphics but i find their graphic style quite charming hopefully i'll play more marcella moon games on the channel i want to learn more about marcella moon herself i think that's another like point i would have like along with getting a bit stuck towards the end and it not being kind of obvious what i needed to do is like i don't really know anything about marcella moon herself except for her incredible name <laughs> wish i had that name could i legally rename myself marcella moon anyway did you enjoy this game have you played it yourself let me know what you think and if you would like to see more marcella moon Thank you.